Hello and welcome back to the weekly roundup. What is the weekly roundup? I talk about some of the week's most interesting entertainment stories and talk about them in detail. Okay, so let's get cracking. Now let's look at the golden nugget of the hiatus. Now one of the most interesting stories that came out since the weekly roundup has been on the break is uh, this one actually. So The Rock, his business partner Danny Garcia, and Redbird Capital have bought the XFL Football League um, and they bought it for $15 million. Um, and this is really interesting because it is a case of life imitating art. And I say that because The Rock was in a TV show on HBO called Ballers and this ran for five seasons and uh, it ran from 2015 to 2019. And the show was about The Rock and he was, in this show, he was uh, a former NFL football player. He then transitioned and became a sports agent. And in the final season, he then bought an NFL team. That's why I say it is a case of life imitating art. And interestingly, what Ballers did really well was in their season finale, they gave us, the audience, a really satisfying kind of end. Um, and often, you know, you come across shows that are great for a number of seasons, then they just can't make the landing right at the end. And, and, it, and it just, um, and, it, and it's just really disappointing. And Wallers did that really well. Um, so yeah, I highly recommend you check out Ballers. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe this video and also leave a comment down below. Moving on, Warner Media is looking to sell Crunchyroll. Uh, I know some of you are thinking, selling a what? Crunchyroll is a, a streaming service that exclusively streams anime. Um, and I think what will be interesting is for us to look at this article that comes to us from The Hollywood Reporter. And this piece is written by Natalie Jarvie. The 14 year old service passed 3 million subscribers in late July, up from 2 million at the end of 2018. That's about the same amount of retail subscribers that Warner Media's two month old HBO Max has attracted. But despite Crunchyroll's relative success for a niche streamer, Warner Media parent company AT&T has been looking to reduce its debt load. As such, the source says that new Warner Media chief Jason Kyler wants to sell any assets that aren't core to the entertainment company's business. So there is quite a lot to unpack here. Um, so firstly, Warner Media will be disappointed with um, the amount of, of subscribers that HBO Max currently has, um, which is just just over three million subscribers. Um, and if we compare that to um, Disney Plus when it launched that service, um, its subscribers early on were like around fifty million. So I I feel like uh, I feel HBO Max would have been looking ideally to have at least 10 million subscribers early on. I think that would have been like their ideal kind of like target. And I feel they'll be disappointed with with 3 million. Um, now let, let's talk about country roll. So obviously uh, anime is seen as a niche and, and people don't really understand anime outside like the hardcore fans. Um, and I feel people need to give it a chance. And since we're talking about um, HBO Max having a low subscriber, subscriber count, I think what would be interesting, instead of selling it, what would be interesting is if HBO Max and Country Roll, um, if they merged together, um, and that way, you know, you increase the sub subscriber count. And since anime is seen as niche, you know, maybe if people are bored on HBO Max, they might come across um, Country Roll, and you know they might take an interest or you know they might come across it and, be, and want to check it out because people do that stuff when they're browsing looking for new content if you see something you haven't seen before you know you'll you'll probably check it out and finally uh we're back to disney plus again so mulan is coming to disney plus 
So the $200 million tentpole was originally slated to be released in cinemas, but due to the current situation in the world, um, the movie was pushed back and back and back. Um, and you know, if you look at the release schedule for next year, like a lot of movies have been pushed back to next year. Um, and I think what you're gonna see is more studios like Disney, what Disney's gonna do, uh, more studios are probably gonna release their movies on their own streaming services in order to like free up space for next year. So Mulan will be on Disney Plus for the small price of $29.99. Um, and in case you're not aware, this version of Mulan is going to be live action. Um, also, there are not any songs in this version and um, when I initially heard this, I was somewhat disappointed because, you know, the I love the original and the songs in the original. But um, I feel what is going to be really interesting about this movie is if you've seen the trailers for this new version of Mulan, the cinematography, it looks gorgeous. Like, the cinematography looks gorgeous. So I'm excited to see like the cinematography um, of the movie for longer than like a three minute clip. And that is it for this week. Um, and while you're here, why not check out the other videos on my channel? And please leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching.